as Rick Caruso's plan is bigger with 30,000 beds in 300 days, hundreds of thousands of new affordable homes, and 500 new sanitation workers to clean up our streets. Fix homelessness now. Rick Caruso for mayor. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 4. Now at 4.30, Halloween is just a week away. How much will the spooky celebration set you back? Mm. Have you noticed how much more you're paying for Halloween candy? How about that costume? Well, the holiday not immune from the high prices we're seeing for so many things. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal shows us the costs, and she does have some tips on how to save. Welcome to the Haunted Maze at Toluca Lake Pumpkin Festival. For 32 years, Steve Vindaneste opening his popular Toluca Lake Haunted Maze and Pumpkin Patch every October for families to enjoy. And this is kind of like my little baby out here. But now those families and Vindaneste are paying more too. Everything in general has gone up. Everything. Vindaneste says it cost him about 10% more this year to operate his pumpkin patch. And I can't, you know, bump up my revenue 10% because I don't want to scare people away. So it's, you know, I have to kind of absorb that. Spending about $20,000 on just pumpkins. The farmers in the field, their, their fertilizer costs more. The transportation, the gasoline costs more. The cost of candy also soaring 13.1% in the past year, according to U.S. inflation data. We found bags of this Studio City CVS priced at nearly $20. If you have a busy house where lots of kids are trick-or-treating, you're definitely going to spend more. Smart shopping expert Trey Bodge says Halloween will be one of the most expensive holidays this year as families also deal with shrinkflation. I would expect to see that in candy this year for Halloween, so you might need to order more bags. Okay, we bought inflatables. We um skeletons that run for $60. Laura Martinez says she's not cutting back. She loves Halloween, already spending $500 on decorations and another $700 on her Halloween party. More than last year. For sure. And if this Burbank house is any indication, people are still going all out for Halloween. The National Retail Federation reports it is expected that people will be spending more than $3 billion alone on candy to pass out. We are seeing uh, pre-pandemic level participation in Halloween. Bodge recommending buying in bulk, waiting for those last minute deals and finding a neighborhood costume swap to participate in. Ben Vanesta is gearing up for one final weekend. Hopeful people will keep coming. I think in my lifetime, this has uh, been the most challenging. In Toluca Lake, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. Wall Street is continuing its hot streak this month. Another solid rally today with the big three indexes reporting gains at the closing bell. The Dow picked up 417 points. The Nasdaq gained 93 and the S&P 500 added 45 points. And today more economists are predicting the U.S. will soon fall into a recession. According to a survey from the National Association for Business Economics, more than half the economists polled say a recession is coming sometime before the end of 2023. 11% said the U.S. is already in a recession. The biggest concerns, rising interest rates and inflation. A new report says California could soon overtake Germany to become the world's fourth largest economy. According to Bloomberg, one economic forecast has California's gross domestic product passing Germany by $72 billion. The official numbers won't come out until next year. Bloomberg does say California has 379 companies worth at least $1 billion. Germany has 155. Well, America's latest recycling report shows a failing grade. A Greenpeace study found paper, cardboard, and metals are recycled at high rates, but mm -hmm. not plastic. Only 5% of household plastics is recycled, apparently. But KKL 9's Elise Preston shows us one effort to stop plastic use. Households across the country haul plastic recycling to the curb every week, but a new Greenpeace report finds it's really a dead-end street. According to the report, U.S. households generated about 51 million tons of plastic waste last year. Just 2.4 million tons were recycled. That's only about 5%. Plastics are just really difficult to recycle, and that's why these numbers are so low. The difficulties range from basic economics to contamination. The plastics industry is advocating chemical recycling to reuse material. We bring in used plastic, we heat it up, 
we vaporize it, and we have a phase change separation.